So how to get started? You can start with the Things Network. Uh, that's our initiative. It's um, the largest LoRaWAN community. Uh, it's, um, it's an open source and decentralized network that we operate. Uh, so it's a network of gateways, it's a network of things, but it's very much also a network of LoRaWAN professionals and people that are interested in LoRaWAN. Um, it's the biggest LoRaWAN community, like I said, but it's also the biggest global LoRaWAN network. So we have tens of thousands of gateways connected. Uh, we have hundreds of thousands of devices uh, that are active on the Things Network. Um, we have deployments in, in just about every country. Um, and also, uh, the, maybe the most important thing is that it's really a people's network. So you can sign up, you can uh, join a local community, you can go to meetups, also virtual meetups, uh, and you can uh, collaborate and contribute to the Things Network that way. And then when you get started and when you have your first devices and your first gateways and you start to see you know, traction, um, you can scale your solution with the Things Industries. Um, the Things Industries is the developer of the Things Stack. Um, that's the, the, the network server implementation. Um, it has an open source core, so you can find that on GitHub. It's one of the largest open source projects um, uh, from the Netherlands, uh, where we're from originally. And it allows you to build and manage your own LoRaWAN network. So you can, you, can, you can get the open source stack, but you can also use a hosted and SLA-backed version that's offered by us, by the Things Industries. Um, you can use your own hardware, your own devices, and you can get support. And you can even um, exchange traffic with the community network. Uh, so you get the best of both worlds. So that's LoRaWAN fundamentals. Um, now you should have enough knowledge and expertise to pass the Things certification uh, LoRaWAN fundamentals. Thank you very much for watching and good luck. Mm -hmm.